So I've been using the Worm V9 for a month now, and I think I can safely do a review. So here we go. Okay, so the Worm V9 is a 55.5 millimeter cube. The ball core version has UV coating, and yep, there is a ball core. And the insides or turquoise, if you can see it. The turning feels like it doesn't feel like a usual Moyu cube because um, I think because of the new ball core and the new repelling magnet ed for the edges. It's more similar to a Gan cube than a Moyu cube because. In the Worm V9, you can also see that there are like the same mechanism as the GAN 13, as you can tell by that, by the magnets. That's why that you can't even try reverse corner cutting. I mean, you can, but yeah, it just does that. Corner cutting, easy 45 degrees, no pressure, everywhere except for this. Yeah, except for there. But the Worm V9 is really nice. It's been my main. I've used it for a month. It's my main it's way better than any cube it's like it's like a cheaper version of a gan cube that's how you describe it okay let's go into the pieces okay so for the edges and corners we can see that the corners now have a magnet which repels to the ball core and for the corners we can see that there is a magnet which attracts to the ball core that makes the cube more stable because more magnets are in the cube and it's less likely to glide too much but yeah it keeps its worm feeling which is really good so let's assemble it and look at the tensioning so as for the tensioning it's exactly the same as before um, exactly the same as the one in the Super RS3M. So for the tensioning, it's exactly the same as before with the Super RS3M for example. Um, it still keeps the MoU tensioning system, which is always the same. So how you do it is, you take the two from the box. The one with the fewest turns is the lowest setting, which means it's more loose. And if you turn it anti-clockwise, it makes it more tighter. So yeah, moving on to the box. So in the box, we can see the accessories, which is the exact same set accessories as before. You would have a pan flip and a cube stand thing, which they don't even do anymore. Some tensioning tools, an extra center, and a screwdriver. And it comes with the box with the cube in it. Okay, now let's move on to performance. <laughs> As of my solves, I got my first sub 10 average with this cube, and I have got a new PB of 7.37 seconds with this cube, which was amazing. I really recommend this cube because there were no problems with the corner cutting when I tested it. However, one thing I noticed while solving with this cube is that it is really easy to corner twist in this cube, which is a really downside of the cube. This cube really has improved my averages a lot going from averaging 15 seconds to now averaging 11 seconds. I think this cube has a lot of potential to become a lot of people's main and can be called a cheaper option to the GAN 13 maglev. So I really recommend this cube to a lot of people. So if you want to buy this cube, this cube is £32.99. But if you want a budget option, you can get the Super RS3M. This is also a pretty good, but it doesn't have the auto alignment and also it doesn't have UV coating. But if you do have the money, I would recommend this cube so much. This could be everyone's main, honestly. I think if you try it, you'll be in love with it. And yeah. But yeah, that's all I have to say for this cube. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. But yeah, sorry for the late uploads because I've just done my GCSEs. And it was m a month of hell for me. Uh, but yeah, that's over. Now I can upload more, so I'll see you in a bit. Next video is going to be on a 7x7, not going to say which one, but yeah. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you next time.